Our lesson essential question is how do we identify the parts of a story's structure? So today we're going to do a little introduction on story structure and this is something that we've done before so it should be easier for you. So we're going to be talking about the structure of a story. When I think of the word structure I think of the way something is built. So you might see when a new house or a new building is being built in town, you'll see the structure of it start to be built. Well, a story structure is how the story is built. So we'll be looking at the beginning, the middle, and the end of stories. You probably remember this page from last time we talked about story structure. We know every story has characters, setting, and a plot that makes their structure. The characters respond to the major events to create the plot of the story. So the first thing we're going to do when talking about story structure is we'll look at the characters and the setting of the story. Then we'll look for the problem the characters are facing. That's the beginning of the story. After that, we'll look for how the characters act and react throughout the story. That's the middle. And then we'll look at how the problem is solved in the end. So we're looking for problem, reactions, and then solution. The characters are going to react through their thoughts, their words, and their actions. We'll look at illustrations that show the characters' thoughts, words, feelings, and actions. And of course, we'll look at the beginning, the middle, and the end. So you probably remember this little boy. He's hungry in the beginning. In the middle, he reacts by cooking. And then in the end, he's happy. He's eating. So his problem is solved. So knowing how the beginning, middle, and end of a story work together will help you understand what you read. All stories have a beginning, middle, and end. The beginning introduces or first tells about the characters and the problems they face. The middle shows how the problem gets bigger. The end tells how the problem is solved or worked out. Let's look at these pictures below. Now, in the first picture, I see that the little boy has a problem. What problem does this little boy have? You probably said his balloon is flying away. Now I see his, his in the middle, his problem is getting bigger and he's reacting. First of all, the balloon is going higher and it gets stuck in the tree. How's the little boy reacting? He looks a little bit upset or worried about his balloon, right? In your discussion post today, you are going to be identifying how the little boy's problem ends up getting solved in the end of the story. So you'll be looking at these pictures again, and you'll be identifying the solution or the end.